Um, I got this pumpkin. It's currently Halloween night, so I'm gonna carve it. It's it's like almost 10 o'clock. It's like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And I figure why not carve it and not let it go to waste because I have also bought these and I wanted to make um, this face with the teeth. And I figure I could use like the pumpkin inside for, to make like a dog treat or something. Like freeze it maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh no, I was hoping this was going to be in a plate. One eternity later. As you recall, I'm trying to make this face. This one. So that's the goal. How they make the dog treats for pumpkin like i always thought they used like the inside of the pumpkin or the the gunk but it wasn't as much as i thought it was going to be it was just a lot of seeds so i guess and i, I always thought the actual flesh of the pumpkin was kind of like watermelon like you don't really eat the rind but uh yeah i had to do my research on that but that was fun right <laughs> I like it. Um, but yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna end the vlog.
uh, I'm trying to get more consistent. I found that the last vlog was like five months ago. Ooh, and right after I told you I was going to try to be consistent. But this time, this time for real, I'm gonna I'm really try it. Hopefully, hopefully more vlogs sooner than five months. Hopefully my sister, who's also my editor, she's amazing, love her. Um, we'll be able to make this somewhat entertaining because I, I am still getting used to the whole, uh, you know, recording myself doing things. TikTok is so much easier. You don't got to do that. You, you know, have an idea, post a minute video or three minute video and then it's done. Instagram is kind of the same. I just be taking my TikTok content and putting it on my Instagram. But YouTube, it's like... For me, it was always weird to post vlogs because I don't normally watch vlogs. So I didn't necessarily see the appeal in vlogs. Um, but then my sister likes watching vlogs. And she was just like, just, I don't know, record yourself doing stuff. And I'm like, that's, who wants to watch me doing stuff? She's like, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so yeah um, i'm gonna try to get more comfortable doing that i just I, it was always weird to me but you know i'm pushing through boundaries growing etc etc yeah let me think is there anything else to update you guys on once i do get used to vlogging and it becomes more of a routine i will be probably hopping off of tiktok i'm already like posting once a week once twice a week like it's already tiktok is so draining it's so <laughs> draining like there's amazing people on there and i'm very grateful for what it has given me in the audience you know you guys that it has given me but um it's 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 interesting it's a weird platform when you're a creator on it it's definitely weird you literally be minding your business posting your content you know people be liking it ha ha he he and then you'll look through your notifications and like some misogynistic assholes talking all kinds of crazy with their little friends in the comment section and you just gotta go in there and granted i love you guys for like trying to defend me it's the cutest thing um but yeah uh tiktok is definitely draining it's it's it it can be very draining so the plan is the goal is that i get more comfortable making vlogs even if it's about nothing i gotta trust in my sister's skills because she got them she's she's dope i love her and post more vlogs and hop on the youtube vlogging side of things because i also hopefully next year i want to start traveling too and i want to be already comfortable in um vlogging by then so that's all i have to update you guys on uh yeah nothing crazy has happened i mean a tornado hit our house that shit was wild that shit was wild <laughs> it was crazy um and the electricity was out for almost a week i think that's i think that's it okay so yeah that's that's gonna be the end of the vlog and i hope you guys stay safe take care of your mental health very important especially with winter coming winter is coming winter depression and all that um i hope you guys you know take care of yourselves find things that make you happy watch good stuff also exercising i started exercising a lot recently and i found that that's really helped my mental health i don't know you guys can look at my past videos and my brain not doing so well in those videos but now we're good now we're good exercise i can definitely attribute my better brain to that and coffee mostly to exercise i'm gonna say but coffee does help Bye, guys.